Hi, welcome to my channel and today I thought I'd film a little toy review for you. So I'm actually just going to be reviewing some of the larger toys Alice got for Christmas, letting you know what we thought of them, if we thought they were worth the money and yeah I just thought it would be a nice little thing to do because some of the toys I didn't know what they actually did until we actually got them out of the box and started playing with them so I thought it would be nice for people to see what they actually do before they buy them. So all the toys that I'm featuring the video I'll link down below. I think most of them are in the sale now. Some of them I think are only available um, like through eBay or places like that. But I'll link them all down below. So I'll be showing you the Disney's Animator's Castle. I'll be showing you the Disney's Cinderella Carriage. The Disney's Minnie Mouse House. Um, Aldi's um, Rocket, Wooden Rocket. Uh, and also Aldi's um, wooden little tabletop coffee shop. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little video. So this is the first present of Alice's that I'm going to show you. So this was the Cinderella ca um, carriage that we got from Disney Store. Now I got this in a Disney Store sale um, last January. I paid £25 for it. I think it is currently in this year's Disney Store sale. I think it's around £35. But I would wait because I think it will go down again to about 25 like it did last year. So if you're interested in this, I thought I'd just quickly show you what it does. So this is the Cinderella doll that it comes with. She's really pretty. I think she's like the standard size Cinderella doll. She does fit in her carriage. So she does fit in. It says this can fit two dolls in it. However, I think you'll have a bit of difficulty getting two dolls in this carriage. So you have to sort of squeeze her in she doesn't go in easily so yeah you probably could maybe sit one next to her as well so it does say you can fit two but there is a bit of a squeeze but she does fit in the door shuts like that there is a little button somewhere where it lights up there it's on the other side So it lights up if you press the button on the other side. Buttons on the other side just underneath here. And I'll turn it round now so you can see the horse better. Do you really think the door should have been on the other side? Because the horse's head faces this way. And the button to light it up is just under here. Just there. So I think the door would have been better on this side. But that's the way they've done it. So with this, the horse actually walks and pulls the carriage. So I'll just pull this carriage back a bit. The button for the horse to make it move is just here. So I'm just going to press his button. And you can see, he walks and he pulls the carriage along. Which I think is really good. He is quite slow, but he does pull it. And my little girl and my little boy both try and sit on him and ride him, which they're probably going to break him. <laughs> Definitely not made for that. He's not big enough for that. But I thought that was really, really good. I don't think, again, I don't think it's worth 65 But if you can get it in the sale for 25 or 35 I do think that's a really lovely toy. He's very noisy, though. He's very noisy when he walks. There we go just thought that was a lovely little little present and just thought I'd show you how it works because obviously when they're in the box you don't like when I bought it I didn't realize that the horse walked and it lit up but I suppose for 65 pound it needs to do more than just be a carriage but yeah they both really like this Alice my daughter and my son who's two have both loved playing with this so it's definitely worth it if you can get it in the sale at the sale price so the next toy that I thought I would show you that Alice got for Christmas is this Cinderella Castle. Again, this was from the Disney Store. And again, we bought this in last year's January sale. And I think we paid £30 for this. Um, it was originally £100. And it went down to £30 in the sale. Um, I think it is currently on sale on the Disney Store website now. I think it's about £40. Again, I would say wait because I'm pretty sure when they do the further reductions, it will go down again. Um, so I thought I'd show you what this does because I've only just worked out all the bits of what it does. Uh, I didn't realise 
all the bits that it does. So when you buy it in the box, it has a demo button in it, and when you press this, you see all the fireworks. But it does also do other things as well. Let's wait for it to finish. So that's your fireworks. But if you actually turn this upside down, there is a little button here where you can turn it off demo mode and onto normal mode. So it comes on demo mode, there's an off mode and there's an on mode. So I've switched it on on mode now and that allows the rest of the buttons inside of the castle to work because I didn't realise that at the time and I wondered why the buttons weren't working. So this is what the castle looks like on the inside. Oh, that shouldn't be in there. Let's move that. So you've got like a little stable for the horses. Um, you've got like your castle turrets, you've got the doors, you've got the window here and you've got these little doors. Now, I don't know if you can see, the top here, there's a little button. When you press that, the doors open and it plays this music. Now, if you had this on demo mode, that button wouldn't work, so you need to make sure you turn this onto on mode and off demo mode for these buttons in here to work. Also has a button just here which does that and then under here you can pull out it's got a secret dance floor so it just has like a rotating thing here which you can twist it makes this turn there's a little button here which plays music so if you get two characters so we've got Aurora and Chris Hart, and then you can just twist it and you can make them dance So that's so that's all the buttons. That's all the like little buttons that do things. These doors do open. So they do open as well. You can open those doors. These little stable doors open as well, and you do get. The horse, I can't remember what the horse is called in this, but you do get the little horse. He can go in there. You also get the three fairies with this. Just put them up there. You get Aurora's bed. You get a table. You get two like throny type chairs. Put them there for now. And you get like two little, two more little chairs. It's not a lot of room. Let's move these fairies over here. And put those chairs up there. And then you've got your little table, little chairs. You get some little, you get this little rabbit, little rabbit figure. You get this little owl figure, a little squirrel. Uh, all Aurora's little animal friends and then you get the birthday cake that the fairies make for her and of course you get a little spinning wheel and of course you get Aurora and Prince Philip which are here 
I think those are all the bits that you get with it. So both my children have really enjoyed playing with this. I'll actually say Leo, my two-year-old, has probably enjoyed playing with it more. Um, my daughter hasn't really had much chance to play with it because every time she tries to play with it, he comes storming in and takes over. He loves just putting the little figures in it and pressing all the buttons. So he's really enjoyed playing with this. My daughter has enjoyed playing with it when she's got the chance, when he's not been around. But I think it's a lovely little present. Um, I would not pay £100 for it. I have to say, I do not think it's worth £100. But if you can get it in the sale, um, like I did, for about £30, I think it's £40 at the minute. And um, maybe I might pay £40 for this. It is really nice. And I'm totally honest, I would like one of these for myself. <laughs> If this went down to £20 on the Disney store, I would probably buy one to put on display in my Disney room because I actually really, really like it. It's really nice. And if you really enjoy playing it, and it looks really nice as well when you um, fold it all up. Put the figures up there. Right, you just push that up um, to fold it over. Like that. So that's why it looks at the back when it's all folded up. And then you can turn it up to the front. And there you go. That's what it looks like. So I just, I think it's such a lovely toy. It really is. And like you can put your little figures on the turrets here. Um, and it's really, really nice. So yeah, definitely worth the £30, £100. No, I wouldn't buy it at full price. But at the sale price, definitely a good toy, I would say. And I also just bought her this to go with it, which is from the Animators collection. This is little, a little version of the Cinderella's carriage. It comes with a little Cinderella and the little carriage door opens and Cinderella can go in there and she can go off to the castle. It's got wheels on, it goes like that. So yeah, that goes really nicely with this. Cinderella can visit Aurora. So yeah, that's another one of the presents that we've really been enjoying. Okay, so the next toy I thought I'd show you is this rocket ship that we got from Aldi. So this was just £20, and I think it's such good quality for £20. It's all made of wood, you get loads of little pieces with it, you've got some working parts on it as well. I just thought it's a really nice toy, so I just thought I'd show you what it looks like out of the box. So it comes with a couple of little wooden alien figures. So you get these two little alien figures with it. Get this little robot figure. You get this little UFO with a little alien in. Get this little vehicle. You get this little satellite. You get these two little astronaut figures, which I think are really cute. I love them. So it has this little thing, I think it's supposed to be for the astronauts to like space walk on. So he's supposed to be able to strap them into this here, like that. You strap them in, and then you can lower them down over ours. Is um got gone a bit too far in, so I can't pull it out. I need to get some tweezers so that I can pull this end out so that you can lower him up and down. Yeah, I can't get it with my nails, but that's what you're supposed to be able to do is lower him up and down like he's doing a spacewalk. So we got that, and it's also got if you can see, just pull this back a bit. It's got a little knob up here and you wind it and it lifts the lift up so you can move the lift up and down so you can put one of your little aliens in there and you can lower him up and down in this little lift okay so i'll just show you a closer look at the button <clears throat> 
so yeah here's the little knob bits on it so it just up lowers and tightens the string which lifts the lift up uh, and then you can just lower it down again so it gets to the bottom down there so yeah they've been absolutely loving this it's got all pictures on the sides that they, they have loved it when they played it we've not had a chance to play this a lot because we've mostly been playing downstairs with the toys but i think i'm going to bring them up today and we're going to play with this but yeah i just think it's such a lovely little toy and only 20 pounds as well so this is one that we've definitely been liking so the next toy i want to show you is this mini mouse house this again i bought in the january sales last year it went down from £50 to £25. Again, £50 I think is a bit much. £25 I think is perfect price for it. And they've both, my daughter and my son, loved, loved playing with this. Leo got the Mickey Mouse house and they've loved that. But this has a lot more bits to it, I think. A lot more things to play with than the Mickey house. Um, and it's really, really nice. So I'm going to show you all the bits to it. So this does have a button on the bottom that you turn off and on because it does have light and sound. It's not much of light and sound. It basically you press this little button here and it lights this light up and rings the doorbell. That's the only sound that this has. Um, so yeah, that's the light and sound that it has. So not much, that's it. This does come with these little plants that you can move around. And it also comes with this table and ch this little patio table and chair. Um, obviously, it's got the big slide. Also, this bow does open up, and if you want to put your figures in there to keep the figures in there, so they, you know where they are. I don't know, but that does open. Uh, the door opens here as well. You can open the door. Your figures can go in and out. Um, let's turn it around. Okay, so this is what the house looks like on the other side. So it comes on the bottom floor, you've got like a little table that it comes with. Also got like a little couch. And on this floor, the fridge opens. Yeah, this is a little fridge. It opens up and you can see all the food inside. Then you've got your cupboards up here. These open up to show food inside. You've got, obviously got your little table that can go in there and a little couch, a little sofa. So that's what we've got down there. Next floor you've got your little bath and your little sink. And then you've got this which you can turn and then the top floor has the bed which lifts up and turns into a little wardrobe which you can open, there we go, wardrobe, close it, put it back down into your bed and she's got a little seat here that she can sit on and you've got your little balcony bit here, little um, sun lounger with Figaro on and then you've got your little lift that you can lift up to the top floor like that and you can Put figure on it and move him down to the bottom floor. There we go. So yeah, I think, just think it's a nice little toy. Put Minnie down the slide. And then she's obviously got this little seating area outside with little plants. Oh, she keep falling down. You can put plants wherever you want, you can put them there. See that? So yeah, I think that's a really nice toy which they've both been enjoying. This unfortunately isn't currently available on Shop Disney. They didn't re-release it this year. I'm not sure why, because it is a really nice toy. Um, but yeah, really like that one. So the final toy that I'm going to show you that Alice got is this cafe. Um, it's tabletop cafe. It was twenty-five pounds from Aldi. 
I just think it's really cute. We've had fun playing um, coffee shop with this. So it has a little chalkboard here so you can write on your specials and stuff. And you got this to display all the food. So you got two little sandwiches, you've got a few little biscuits, and you've got three cupcakes here. And at the side here, you've got your takeaway cups and a little tea bag. And the lids of these come off as well. So you can take the lids off. Oh. Comes with a little carton of milk. And yeah, that's the front of it. At the side, you've got your two coffee mugs. So I'll just turn it around and show you the other side. Okay, so this is the other side. This is the view of the shopkeeper. And here you've got like your coffee machine. You can turn these knobs. You've got like your little coffee filter. It's got a chip in it. So it's like your filter. You've got your little coins coffee which different coffee you've got a green one you've got a, a pink one that says hot chocolate cappuccino that one says latte and that one says decaf um, I think there's a couple missing I think there should be a few more then you've got these this one is brown sugar granulated sugar and white sugar and they go at the top and you got your little mugs here that go here obviously you would take this off they slot in there make your coffee you got your little mixing spoons you got a plate I'm not sure where they go so we just sort of shove that there and then you've got your little food all here all laid out and then this opens your little drawer here and on the side as well there's a little drawer just here where the chalk is for your chalkboard so I just thought that was really cute I just thought I'd show you it so it's 25 pounds from Aldi I'm not sure if they've got any left in stock and um, you have to check your local Aldi or check online but yeah we've really been loving this I think it's a really lovely little coffee shop to play with it goes really well they've got a little um grocery shop there and she's got her kitchen there so it goes really well with with those so that's all the big toys in her room that we wanted to show okay, you okay so that is the end of this little video i hope you have enjoyed it i hope maybe it's been helpful for you if maybe you were thinking of getting these presents for your children and you weren't sure um, maybe this will help you out decide whether you want to get them or not like I said I think most of them are now in the sale so I will link the, them down below for you if you are still interested like I said I reckon they will probably go down again because they did last year so I'd hold off until they have the price drops because I'm pretty sure they've still got plenty of them left because um, they did last year so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon bye We wish you